Hello. Right, so the plan is to um, just give my take on the importance of the pentatonic scale, minor pentatonic scale essentially, and using it as a quick access to lead guitar um, and the basic uh, chord progressions that you can use to support that. It's not um, it's not deep musical theory by any means. It's uh, it's the opposite. It's simple stuff, and my contention is that it's a useful and a valid way to gaining access to being able to string a a bit of lead together. And if you look at some of the um, greats like uh, Peter Green, Eric Clapton, Paul Kossoff, um, some of those guys that I'm very enthusiastic about. A lot of it is, is based around the pentatonic scale, which is pentatonic, five notes, um, and I'll, I'll show you that now. I'm going to work mainly in A this morning because um, A sounds good, I think. Right, so, bit of theory of a, of a sort is that if you take any, any um, key, for example A, then if you go down to the corresponding note on your bass string here, to A. Okay, so that's that happens to be A, that's G, that's B, open is E, down to the 12th fret, it repeats itself, it's E again. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going down to the 5th fret, which is A. Okay, now you may know up here again your E major chord. So that corresponds to the fact that the bass string is E. So if you take that shape down to any particular place you like, make an artificial one of these with your finger like that, which is a bit tricky, then I've got some involuntary vibrato going on in that chord. Right, it becomes A. So all those chords that you play up here, up to a point, you can move to anywhere on the neck by adding a bar A. Okay, that's not what I'm here to talk about, but it kind of supports it. Right, so, by the same token, if you're playing a, um, a chord progression that's centered around A, like, That's around A, it turns out. Um, you can go down to A here and then in, um, drop in the stencil of the pentatonic scale, if you will, and that is this. So if I say that is one, this is two, that's three, that's four. All you're gonna be playing down these strings is one and four and one and three, okay? In the first place you go one four, then you go one three, one three, one three, and then the bottom two, or the top two, depending how you look at it, is one four. Okay, so. So that is worth practicing for me, <laughs> no, for everyone. That's, that's worth getting well and truly under your belt. So what that takes us to is someone is playing something around A.
magic, it fits in. So what we're actually doing, if you start here and play the pentatonic scale, the pentatonic scale, you're actually playing a minor pentatonic. So that's what I'm showing you today is the minor pentatonic scale corresponding to whatever you're doing elsewhere with your chords. So if you're playing something around E, So you're playing in E, I came down to the 12th, which is E, and then I started playing the pentatonic. And it works everywhere. If you're playing something in G, And all I'm doing is, well, I did a little bit of diddling up there, but essentially what I'm doing is just messing about with those five notes. So it's like 10, isn't it? Twice. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, obviously. Four. Um, and um, just fooling about with those on top of a chord progression that corresponds in terms of... I'm messing about in A chords, so I'm going down to the 5th fret, I'm messing about in G, so I'm going down to the 3rd fret, G, and so on. And, and that's pretty much it. And then, obviously, to make it sound like lead guitar, rather than um, just practicing a scale, you're throwing in your own little um, dance moves into the way you play that scale. So... Um, so, slightly better example of that. So those chords are just sort of um, centred around an A key. Um, I think that's about it really. That's, I'm trying to keep it um, simple because that's what I do. Uh, and yeah, as I say, so important thing, um, just reinforce that you can you can adapt it to any key it's not even really adapting it's it's moving it down the neck to that point um so again someone's playing in b so you go to what else b here probably shows you the importance of getting those bar chords or um, you know power chords which would be the, um, the bum notes are um, copy protected all right so I think that's everything um, my, I, I would urge anyone who is starting out to investigate the pentatonic scale if particularly if they're struggling with um, other approaches it's um, it's a good access point it's a good straightforward way in and all you've got to do is just fiddle about with those notes you can expand it by working out what notes you're playing by looking at a diagram of the neck 
and then taking it all over the place because obviously those notes occur all up and down the neck there's like about four easy patterns that you can um, commit to memory or muscle memory hand, you know so your hand knows what it's doing at least um, and someone will come up with a chord progression and you can fit into it. It doesn't work with more complex songs but you know the basis of uh, rock and roll and blues and stuff is very often centered around a particular chord so that makes it um, that makes it an extremely powerful tool to fit into that. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. Just just that's just minor pentatonic. Um, it, it it gets you. It's very easy to expand that knowledge and go further um, and go all over the place. And I'll, I'll just give you. a a clue without wishing to overcomplicate. So you're playing in um, A minor pentatonic. You can do A major pentatonic by moving down to here. Okay, so you're moving down like three, three frets down, and you're in the major. And what you know. A lot of people like Clapton and Kossoff and, and, and Green, Green did various other things, they all do various other things, um, is um, have the conflict between major and minor, but that's for another day. Okay, but I'm just showing that, um, trying to demonstrate that it, it folds out into um, a, a much richer um, set of, 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 uh, of, of tools. Um, yeah okay so I think that's probably it I, I should probably stop talking now hope that was some use um, give it a go see if it works last thing I'd say is that there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of music theory knowledge that are saying no it's a dead end don't do that you know if you're doing that then you're giving up and so that's fair enough and I respect that um but each to their own really isn't it um I I I've done a bit of music theory um, and yeah it, all knowledge is good basically so certainly but um, I, I see this as, as uh, a very valid uh, approach for people like me and uh, people who, who don't want to get into all that um, classic theory so there we go.